It's one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season. Hundreds of people flying after the New Year's, and it comes at the same time as a fuel leak in L.A. County that's now impacting flights locally. Our Liberty Zabala is live at the San Diego International Airport tonight, and she has the story. Hi, Liberty. Good evening, Phil, and even in the evening hours, it is very packed here at San Diego International Airport as people head home from celebrating the holiday. And take a look behind me. These are the pieces of unclaimed luggage from those Southwest cancellations from last week. Now, airport officials are warning people to give themselves extra time because today and tomorrow are expected to be some of the busiest travel days. San Diego International Airport expects about 800,000 passengers between December 22nd and January 3rd. So passengers, pack your patience. Now we're getting ready to return, and we actually had a flight uh, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., and we changed it to today at 6.15, and it is delayed. What is further complicating travel is a fuel pipeline leak near Los Angeles that serves San Diego. Kinder Morgan, who runs that pipeline, says the impacted pipeline segment was isolated and shut down, but it doesn't expect pipeline service to return until Tuesday. Yeah, we're hoping. I mean, we want to get on and we need to get back home. The fuel issues have delayed some flights, but it is nowhere near the level of last week's Southwest Airlines cancellations. We've had some delays, um, but for the most part, I think people have, with all of last week's uh, flight cancellations, those flights have been, many of them have been rebooked and uh, flights are going off. We are not seeing as many cancellations, some delays, but not as many cancellations. This family was stuck in Denver because of last week's cancellations. Cancellations. They decided to drive to San Diego to make it in time for Christmas. So then we just gave up and we rented a car and we drove all the way here from Denver. So 15 hours in the car, kids were troopers, they did a great job. Now they are returning home after a longer and much more exhausting trip than they expected. It's been okay. We're taking a red eye tonight. We did switch to United because we just didn't trust Southwest really. So like we're just going to switch to United. Um, so taking a red eye home tonight and be uh, be in back in D.C. Uh, at 9:30 tomorrow morning. So good luck to those folks. According to Flight Aware, there have been so far 11 cancellations here at San Diego International Airport and about 189 delays. Meanwhile, to our north, windy weather is also causing major delays and diversions in the San Francisco area. For now, live here at San Diego International Airport, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.